uh, now that we understand attitudes and beliefs in the definition of persuasion, now let's move on to values. Now, uh, we've already had uh, values mentioned when we were trying to define beliefs. Values are actually what we can, is the righteousness of things. It's what we consider to be right and wrong, good or bad, fair or unfair, beautiful or ugly. They are our moral and ethical groundwork. They are typically uh, culturally based. They could be religious based. Uh, it's something we grew up with. And it's just what we know is right and good. So if we were to throw out a huge value. This sounds like it would be even more intense in beliefs. This is very, very intense. So, in this country, so here we have our, our ethics, our moral groundwork, our just, things of just nature. In this culture, freedom. That's it. Here we have one of the biggest ones I'm throwing out here on the, on the board. Because, because our values are that this is right, this is good, Opportunity for others should be available. Doesn't necessarily mean that they have to take it, but it is there, and and that is the right thing to do. That is the just thing. To not do this is not okay. Okay, and we have a lot of problems when it's when when we see this being threatened. Now, if somebody were to come into this classroom and say, "Yeah, I think this thing about freedom is like overrated." Yeah, right. Okay. Still done. Okay. Still done. Okay, we, we will not be okay with that. That's how strong values are. If you ever say to yourself, I did that because it was the right thing to do, okay, you are striking values. Or if you ever say to yourself, that is unfair, that is just wrong, your values are being struck. So sometimes it's hard to see what a value is until it starts coming up in our language. Okay, and there's a lot of heavy hitter topics. You could look at the death penalty. Okay, the death penalty itself, that's just an action, but, but it's driven by values. And so you start listening to the things that people are saying about it, that's when you start understanding their values. So we could look at certain things like, for example, education. We brought up education in here. Okay, a value could be making sure everybody has a chance to be educated. That's, that's a value. I think that's the right thing. I think that's just. That's, a, that's, that's an important value for me. Why do I say that? Well, it's also driven by the evidence. It's, it's better. Like statistically, to have people able to find jobs and work in fields that they enjoy. They're happier. They're more productive to the communities. There's less crime. Or more prosperous. That's a fact. That's evidence. That's my evidence. Lots of studies. And then, of course, our attitudes can be driven by this. Okay, sometimes I have better attitudes about things I'm studying than others. But these are all, all start becoming interwoven with each other. This behavior over here is what we end up doing. And ideally, our attitudes, our beliefs, and our values will drive our behavior. Doesn't always happen, but that is what we like to think happens. And we'll talk about in a moment what to do when those don't align.